If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Question What is Workday Revenue used for? Option 1 To track and manage employee time and attendance. Option 2 To manage company financials. Option 3 To track and manage customer interactions. Option 4 All of the above. Question, what is the primary benefit of Workday Revenue? Option 1 Streamlining financial reporting. Option 2 Improved accuracy of financial data. Option 3 Increased efficiency in financial processes. Option 4 All of the above. Question, what type of financial information can be tracked and managed using Workday Revenue? Option 1 Sales Revenue Option 2 Expenses Option 3 Payroll Option 4 All of the above Question can Workday Revenue be customized to fit the specific needs of a company? Option 1 Yes. Option 2 No. Question, can Workday Revenue be integrated with other systems and tools used by a company? Option 1 Yes. Option 2 No. Question, what is the main purpose of work tags in Workday Revenue? Option 1 to categorize expenses. Option 2 to track employee performance. Option 3 to track financial transactions. Option 4 to organize and classify data. Question, how are work tags used in Workday Revenue? Option 1 to categorize expenses by department. Option 2 to track employee productivity. Option 3 to classify financial transactions. Option 4 all of the above. Question, can work tags be customized in workday revenue? Option 1 no, they are predefined. Option 2 Yes, but only by Workday Administrators. Option 3 Yes, by any user with appropriate permissions. Option 4 Yes, but only by Finance Department users. Question, can work tags be used to track budget in Workday Revenue? Option 1 No. Only actual expenses can be tracked. Option 2 Yes, but only for specific departments or projects. Option 3 Yes, for all expenses within the organization. Option 4 No, they are only used to classify data. Question, are work tags required to be used in workday revenue? Option 1 No, they are optional. Option 2 Yes, they are required for all financial transactions. Option 3 Yes, but only for certain types of transactions. Option 4 No, but they are strongly recommended for better organization. Question. What is the first step in setting up financial accounting in Workday Revenue? Option 1 Set up your general ledger accounts. Option 2 Set up your chart of accounts. Option 3 Set up your company structure. Option 4 Set up your financial business processes. Question How do you create a new revenue account in Workday Revenue? Option 1 from the Chart of Accounts tab. 
Option 2 from the Business Processes tab. Option 3 from the Financials tab. Option 4 from the Company Structure tab. Question, what is the purpose of the business processes tab in Workday Revenue? Option 1 to set up your company structure. Option 2 to create new revenue accounts. Option 3 to set up your general ledger accounts. Option 4 to define how transactions flow through your organization. Question, how do you create a new general ledger account in Workday Revenue? Option 1 from the Chart of Accounts tab. Option 2 from the Business Processes tab. Option 3 from the Financials tab. Option 4 from the Company Structure tab. Question, how do you set up your financial business processes in Workday Revenue? Option 1 from the Chart of Accounts tab. Option 2 from the Business Processes tab. Option 3 from the Financials tab. Option 4 from the Company Structure tab. Question, what is Workday Revenue? Option 1 A Financial Software Program. Option 2 A Cloud-based HR System. Option 3 A Project Management Tool. Option 4 A Customer Relationship Management Platform. Option 5 A Business Process Management Tool. Question, what is the main focus of Workday Revenue? Option 1 Sales and Marketing. Option 2 Human Resources. Option 3 Project Management. Option 4 Customer Relationship Management. Option 5 Financial Management. Question, how does Workday Revenue improve security? Option 1 By encrypting data in transit and at rest. Option 2 By providing access control and user authentication. Option 3 By offering data backup and recovery capabilities. Option 4 by implementing disaster recovery plans. Option 5 all of the above. Question, how does Workday Revenue support business processes? Option 1 by automating manual tasks and reducing errors. Option 2 by providing real-time visibility into financial data. Option 3 by enabling collaboration and communication among teams. Option 4 by streamlining approvals and workflow processes. Option 5 all of the above. Question, what industries does Workday Revenue typically serve? Option 1 Healthcare. Option 2 Manufacturing. Option 3 Retail. Option 4 Financial Services. Option 5 All of the above. Question, how often do you review revenue data for your customers in Workday? Option 1 Daily. Option 2 Weekly. Option 3 Monthly. Option 4 Rarely. Question, which of the following best describes how you use customer revenue data in Workday? Option 1, to track customer spending patterns. Option 2, to identify potential sales opportunities. Option 3, to optimize pricing strategies. Option 4, all of the above. Question, when analyzing customer revenue data in Workday, 
which of the following factors do you consider? Option 1 Customer Lifetime Value Option 2 Revenue Growth Over Time Option 3 Customer Retention Rate Option 4 All of the Above Question, how do you ensure the accuracy of customer revenue data in Workday? Option 1 by regularly verifying data sources. Option 2 by implementing strict data entry protocols. Option 3 by conducting regular audits. Option 4 all of the above. Question. What is Workday Revenue and Hashtag 39's primary source of revenue? Option 1 Sales of Software Licenses Option 2 Professional Services Option 3 Maintenance and Support Fees Option 4 Advertising Question, how does Workday Revenue track its revenue streams? Option 1 through a manual spreadsheet system. Option 2 using a custom-built CRM tool. Option 3 with a financial management software. Option 4 through the Workday Revenue platform itself. Question, how often is Workday Revenue and Hashtag 39's revenue reported? Option 1 annually. Option 2 semi-annually. Option 3 quarterly. Option 4 monthly. Question, how is Workday Revenue and Hashtag 39's revenue typically presented in financial reports? Option 1 gross revenue. Option 2 net revenue. Option 3 Operating Revenue Option 4 Total Revenue Question, what factors can impact Workday Revenue and Hashtag 39's Revenue Growth? Option 1 Market Demand for Software Solutions Option 2 Competition from other software companies Option 3 Changes in Pricing or Pricing Structures Option for all of the above. Question, what is the purpose of a customer invoice in Workday Revenue? Option 1 to record a sale to a customer. Option 2 to track customer payments. Option 3 to record expenses. Option 4 to track inventory levels. Option 5 all of the above. Question, who is responsible for creating customer invoices in Workday Revenue? Option 1 The customer. Option 2 The sales team. Option 3 The accounting team. Option 4 The IT team. Option 5 The management team. Question, how often should customer invoices be generated in Workday Revenue? Option 1 Daily Option 2 Weekly Option 3 Monthly Option 4 As Needed Option 5 Annually Question, can customer invoices be edited after they have been created in Workday Revenue? Option 1 Yes Option 2 No Option 3 Only by the customer Option 4 Only by the sales team Option 5 only by the accounting team. Question, what information is typically included on a customer invoice in Workday Revenue? Option 1 customer name and contact information. Option 2 item or service purchased. Option 3 quantity and price of items or services. 
Option 4 Payment Terms Option 5 All of the above Question, how can a customer make a payment in workday revenue? Option 1 by mailing a check. Option 2 by wire transfer. Option 3 by credit card. Option 4 by ACH payment. Option 5 all of the above. Question, can a customer make a partial payment in workday revenue? Option 1 yes. Option 2 no. Option 3 only if the payment plan allows for partial payments. Option 4 only if the customer has permission from the company. Question, is it possible for a customer to schedule recurring payments in workday revenue? Option 1 yes. Option 2 no. Option 3 only if the payment plan allows for recurring payments. Option 4 only if the customer has permission from the company. Question, can a customer view their payment history in workday revenue? Option 1 yes. Option 2 no. Option 3 only if the customer has permission from the company. Option 4 only if the customer has a valid login account. Question. Can a customer dispute a payment made in workday revenue? Option 1 yes. Option 2 no. Option 3 only if the payment was made by mistake. Option 4 only if the customer has permission from the company. Question. What is the primary goal of cash management in workday revenue? Option 1 to maximize profits. Option 2 to minimize expenses. Option 3 to ensure timely payment of invoices. Option 4 to improve cash flow. Question, which of the following is not a step in the cash management and settlement process in workday revenue? Option 1 creating payment schedules. Option 2 generating invoices. Option 3 reconciling payment discrepancies. Option 4 hiring new employees. Question, what is the purpose of creating payment schedules in Workday Revenue and Hashtag 39, S Cash Management and Settlement Process? Option 1 to ensure that all invoices are paid on time. Option 2 to ensure that cash is not tied up in outstanding invoices. Option 3 to improve the accuracy of financial reporting. Option 4 to provide a clear overview of all payment activity. Question, which of the following is not a benefit of automating the cash management and settlement process in workday revenue? Option 1 increased efficiency. 
Option 2 reduced risk of errors. Option 3 improved accuracy of financial reporting. Option 4 increased security. Question, in which of the following scenarios should a manual reconciliation of payment discrepancies be performed in Workday Revenue and Hashtag 39, S Cash Management and Settlement Process? Option 1 When the number of discrepancies is too large for the automated process to handle. Option 2 When the discrepancies are minor and do not significantly impact the overall financial reporting. Option 3 When the discrepancies are related to sensitive or high value transactions. Option 4 All of the above. Question What is EIB in Workday Revenue used for? Option 1 to build and customize interface configurations. Option 2 to create and manage employee benefits. Option 3 to generate financial reports. Option 4 to track and manage employee performance. Question How does EIB in Workday Revenue help businesses manage their revenue streams? Option 1 by creating automated financial reports. Option 2 by enabling real time data tracking and analysis. Option 3 by providing a centralized location for data management. Option 4 by offering customizable interface options. Question How does EIB in Workday Revenue integrate with other Workday modules? Option 1 It does not integrate with other Workday modules. Option 2 It can only integrate with the Workday Financial Management module. Option 3 It can integrate with any Workday module. Option 4 It can only integrate with certain Workday modules. Question Can EIB in Workday Revenue be used to import data from external systems? Option 1 No, it can only be used to import data within Workday. Option 2 Yes, but only with the use of third-party software. Option 3 Yes, but it requires a separate license. Option 4 Yes, it has the capability to import data from external systems. Question can EIB in Workday Revenue be used to export data to external systems? Option 1 No, it can only be used to export data within Workday. Option 2 Yes, but only with the use of third-party software. Option 3 Yes, but it requires a separate license. Option 4 Yes, it has the capability to export data to external systems. Question, what type of report do you need to run in Workday Revenue to see the current fiscal year and hashtag 39, S Revenue by Department? Option 1 Revenue Summary Option 2 Revenue by Department Option 3 Revenue Forecast Option 4 Revenue History Question, how often should you run the revenue forecast report in Workday Revenue? Option 1 Monthly Option 2 Quarterly Option 3 Annually Option 4 As Needed Question, how can you filter the results of the revenue summary report in Workday Revenue to only show data for a specific fiscal year? Option 1 by selecting the fiscal year in the report filters. Option 2 by selecting the fiscal year in the report options. Option 3 by selecting the fiscal year in the report parameters. Option 4 by selecting the fiscal year in the report settings. Question, 
What type of report in Workday Revenue would you run to see the revenue for a specific customer? Option 1 Customer Revenue Option 2 Customer Sales Option 3 Customer Orders Option 4 Customer History Question, how do you access the Workday Revenue Reports in Workday? Option 1 from the Workday Homepage Option 2 from the Workday Dashboard Option 3 from the Workday Reporting tab Option 4 from the Workday Analytics tab Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.